There have been three schools in Pelsall which have been subject to a haunting. Two of the schools no longer operate as a school, but the other does. This story is about a school in Pelsall which was haunted in the late 1970s following the tragic and untimely death of a young pupil. Perhaps you were there and remember what you saw. It wasn't until I started doing my ghost walks that I was told about this incident by a number of witnesses when I passed the school in question, which I will not name in this article. When I was told about this haunting, I was surprised to hear of how many witnesses there were to the paranormal activity at this school, the events of which occurred in the late 1970s. If you were there, and also witnessed events at this school. I hope that this article will stir up memories and perhaps prompt you to share what you witnessed. At the time, it seems that this haunting was common knowledge. I was surprised to have met so many people on different occasions who had witnessed this ghost or forms of paranormal activity connected with it during their time at this school. With the passing of time, it seems that the incident leading to the haunting at this school is all but forgotten. It is believed that the tragic death of a pupil, which is said to have occurred in the late 1960s or early 1970s, caused the haunting. It was said that a young boy somehow managed to get himself entangled in a roller towel in the boys' toilets. When it was noticed how long the boy was taking to get back to class, on investigation it was discovered that the boy had accidentally strangled himself with the roller towel. The tragedy sent shockwaves through the school and the community. Then, shortly afterwards, the figure of a young boy started to be seen by children in the school. The regularity of his appearances caused hysteria to begin with, but was quietly kept within the confines of the school, which is why the story has not come to light until many years after the event. With the passing of time, memories of the little boy have been all but forgotten, but for a certain generation, memories of the ghostly boy will always be there. In the late 1970s, the ghostly boy appeared to have attached itself to a little boy who could see him and talk freely with him, much to the annoyance of the teacher. Any doubt that the boy was interacting with the spirit was soon quashed when drawers in the classroom started to open and shut by themselves and objects were being frequently moved by unseen hands, including the class globe which would often turn by itself. The entire class and teacher witnessed all of these events. Then the heavy classroom door would open then shut by itself as it appeared that the spirit had left the room. The teacher of the class would often tell the chosen pupil off when the door opened and closed by itself despite the fact that the boy was still sitting in his chair and at his desk which was nowhere near the door. In such circumstances, this paranormal activity had many witnesses, since the classroom was always filled with pupils. Children in the class could plainly see things moving of their own accord, which, 40 years or so later, has left a lasting impression. One day, the ghostly boy left the school with the chosen pupil, and by the 1980s, the haunting at the school completely ceased with no further mention of the ghostly boy thereafter.